Hi, my name is Edwin Diaz and I'm a software developer and web developer. There's two things that you need to find out about any course if you're thinking about joining. First of all, is exactly what the course includes. So if you want to find out what this course includes, look at the description of this course and it will tell you all about it. Basically, it's a course that's going to take you from the beginning of PHP all the way from the beginning for absolute beginners to an advanced level where you can become a PHP master. The second thing is that you got to look into what kind of project does the course have for me to learn real life experience. You see, when you go to a job, the, C, the human resources, the hiring manager doesn't ask you to go and take a theory test on what a variable is or what an array is. They tell you what kind of experience do you have. Do you know how to build an application in PHP? That's what they ask you. So here on this course, we're focused on more about real life experience to learn how to build applications. I'm going to show you the application, the amazing application that we are building on this course that is ongoing. All the time I keep adding new features and you keep learning more and more for no extra charge because once you pay once, you got the course forever. So let me show you one of the advanced features we got. We got a search engine functionality here. So if we type in PHP, for example, and click the little magnifying glass here, we get some results. All right. So here in the front page, we got some posts. These are articles that we go inside the admin and we can make them. We have some content here and if I click read more, it would take me to that page. You can see the ID right here. I have the content, I have the picture, I have the title, I have a field where I can put a comment where users can come and comment on that. I can log into my admin and I will show you that in a minute. I have some categories so if I click on them, it will show me everything that is under JavaScript. For example, I only have one post here, actually a couple posts. Let me see on PHP. On PHP, I got a couple more. So as you can see there, it would take me to that specific page. This one doesn't have anything. And we are still building new features into this course, into this application. Let me show you when we log in what happens. All right, we have an, an amazing dashboard with dynamic data coming from the database. All right, everything here is dynamic, beautiful. All right, so if we click on this, it was going to take us to where we make our posts. This is where we actually see our posts and we can edit them. All right, change the title if we want, update it, view it. All right, and you can see that I just updated that. All right, we can view that post from here in our front end come back to it we can delete it if we want if we click on it it would say it would tell us are you sure you want to delete this if I click click on cancel it doesn't do anything but if I click OK it deletes that post and then we get we go to the next one all right we can see how many times this post was viewed that's a really cool feature come back there we come back here and you can see that that was viewed one time so that's a really cool feature there, right? Another cool feature is that we can select all this here in bulk and then we can apply certain features to it, certain uh, commands. So for example, let me just delete this two here, these three. Delete, apply, those three are deleted, all right? We can also clone this, come here and we can create copies of this. So you're going to see the yellow purple and purple, right? Add, actually, sorry, I clicked the wrong one. Oops. Clone, apply. Now you can see that we just multiply those. All right? Perfect. We can add more if we wanted to. Apply, and then we have a lot more posts down below. You see that? We can also delete them. All right, draft them, put them on draft so they don't show in the front page. You see these posts right here, they're not showing on front page until we make sure that they are published. So this is just to giving you, you see that? Now they publish, now you can view them in the front page. We, we have categories, we can make categories, new categories here. We can do other things with categories, add. We can edit categories right here. And you can see them right there. We just edit them. We can delete them. We can see the comments. We can approve them, unapprove them, delete the comments. We have users. We can make users. We can edit users. We can make an admin or subscribers. We can set passwords for them, emails. 
we have our own profile for this specific user. In this case, this one's first name is Rico's. The username is Rico, and as you can see them right here on top. It's personalized to this user. So if I were to log out, click log out, I'm logged out, out of the system. If I click in the admin, I can't get in anymore. So I'm going to log in as another user. I'm going to call this guy Rick. Enter. And now you can see right here on top that Rick, this is Rick's personal admin. So if I go to profile, you can see Rick's information right here. Right? Another great thing is that it has is that it counts how many users are online. For example, right now I only have one user. But look what happens if I go to, let's say, Firefox. And I try logging into the system. I'm going to log in. I'm doing this in another area here. All right? I'm going to log in as Rico. All right? Look, now it says two users online. Right here it says one user. If I refresh, you can see that it says two users. And if I do it again, of course, it's going to take me to, if I find Safari and try to do it with Safari, it's going to say three users. I'm not going to do that now. I don't want to waste your time on that. But you can see that this CMS here has a lot of features. If I go to home site, I can even register here. All right? We can get new users, and then when we get them, what we do here is that we can convert them into admin or subscribers. It's up to us. They become subscribers as default. All right? So there's a lot of functionality. There is a lot more in here that I want to show you, but I'm running out of time here. and I don't want to bore you. Anyway, as you can see, this application here is all you need to get the knowledge you need to actually become a PHP master and develop more advanced applications out there and get the job you always wanted. Not only the job, but you can make money as a freelancer out there. There is a lot of job for PHP developers, but you have to have the skills. This course here is going to give you the skills you need to get that dream job, to get all the money you need to keep going and learning more about PHP if you love it, or even do other things with your time. Thank you so much for watching this presentation. Hopefully this gave you enough information to make you realize that this course is worth your time and your money. Another thing is that you're going to get unbelievable support from me. All right? If you talk to any of the students that are in this course, they can tell you that I'm actually one of the fastest instructors in responding to uh, students' issues. And I really take a personal approach to helping you achieve success in this course. Thank you so much for watching this presentation, and I hope to see you inside the course. Take care.